That sounds more like a psychopath. Not a dog. <laughs> so, if you believe in, I asked Einstein once, do you believe in God? He said, which one? <laughs> I said, well, you knew that the Jewish God says, if a man takes his son's eye out, you take his son's eye out. An eye for an eye and a tooth for tooth. The Christian God says, when a man strikes it, turn the other cheek. That's what he means by which one. All these gods are jerk that man makes, they're not like themselves. They get angry, create floods, disease, all kinds of things. And you say, why did the bubonic plague kill half of the earth's population? And the church would say, uh, we shall suffer for the sins of our parents. Scientists, when the bubonic plague began to wipe out people, they said, we don't know why that happens. That's very good. I don't know. So they found that fleas that live on rats infected people with a plague, and they began to kill the rat population and wipe out the plague. So I don't say science is perfect, but it's closer to our problems than any other system. So when man makes laws, that means they don't know how to solve problems. All man-made laws are beat us in science. All man-made laws don't deal with problems. They make a law. What you really need is, uh, it says, drive safely, safely on the highway, slippery when wet. So you put a brace in the highway so it's not slippery when wet, and take away that sign. It also says, drive carefully, school children crossing. I'm sure you've seen that. We design a highway that looks like one cone intersecting another cone. And when the kid presses the button, the highway turns up like that. So no car can hit a kid. Do you understand that? That's what you really want. You don't want a sign out there. These dummies that are politicians are not technical. Now you're going to have to take my word for it because most of you don't look old enough. When I was a kid, trolley cars had a platform along the side. And if people were late for work, they got on that platform. And they were hit by cars. So the conductor said, get in the car or off the platform. I had a small rubber tube, not very hard to hurt you. But get in the car or get off the platform. When people were late for work, they still remained on the platform. A lot of people were killed in 10 years. Finally, they took that problem to an engineering firm. And the engineer said, what do you want? We don't want people on the platform. So they retracted the platform. When you got in the car, it turned out. That was the end of the problem. People really don't know what to do, so they put up a sign, thou shalt not steal, don't steal, don't be dishonest. That doesn't change people. You can go to Sing Sing prison, you see guys with a cross around their neck. And I remember during World War II, how the minister of my church at that time, he blessed the war tank, and he blessed the soldier that was Catholic. And in Italy, they were blessing the war tanks there. Same priest, <laughs> same religion. Religious people are extremely stupid because if you open the Bible, you'll see that Noah's Ark would have to be at least a mile long to take two kinds of every animal. And where do you get the polar bear and the giraffe? You know, and the, the ship would be so full of shit. And the stories in the Bible are not bad, they're fantastically elementary. Stupid stories about Moses lifting up his wand and the, the Red Sea party. God could put the people on the other side of the Red Sea without party. Just all like that. <laughs> and they say that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that others might have eternal life and not perish. Well, when you examine that, the witnesses, according to the Bible, say after Jesus was good, he arose and went back into heaven. Where the hell is the sacrifice? <laughs> Read your Bible, don't take my word for it. It's such a bunch of garbage written by very ignorant people. Like our language was designed hundreds of years ago. That's why I say we can't talk to each other. And that's why lawyers exist. They can take language and do it they want. So the books are available on our website and not our books. One is called Mind in the Making by James Harvey Robinson. You want to know communications better? It's uh, The Tyranny of Words by Stuart Chase. And if you get these books,
they don't put society together for you, or they deal with communication, they deal with different aspects. Then there was a guy named Serge Goddard Chandra Bose. Did anybody ever hear of him? He came to the Royal Society with new ideas, and they laughed at him. And he went back to India, the boat system. When the British people, scientists, went to his lab, they were amazed, brought him back to England. And they just named him, Serge Goddard Chandra Bose, because they checked things out. Scientists don't always check things out. They say, and we want to know how all of this began. Where did the word beginning come from? The Bible. So they said, well, the Big Bang. What was there the day before the Big Bang? Where did God come from? Who made him? How did he get the job? You know, nobody has <laughs> the They all say, why do they believe in God? Because they've never been told enough about how nature works. You can take a steel ball and heat it to a half a million degrees and it becomes a vapor, but it doesn't stop existing. It still exists as radiant energy or vapor. So in science books it says matter cannot be created or destroyed. That means that it never began. This notion about even if I kick the bucket, if you bury me one foot down in the soil, all the plants get taller above me, all the worms get fatter, so what happens to Fresco? It becomes part of something else. But the stuff you eat is what you are. Your cells, if you eat chicken, a cow meat, it's kind of human cells. So the stuff you are made of, the stuff you eat, and plants, things of that sort, that was always here. And when you kick the bucket, the gases go off into space, the material is eaten by worms, the soil absorbs something. I don't like that. Sure, I wish I lived on land where everything was okay. I had white wings. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the angels painted on the ceiling in church, the wings are too small. <laughs> <laughs> now, if the angels flew without wings, that would be a miracle. <laughs> without their soul. <laughs> and then you take people who commit crimes and you put them in jail for 20 years of a life. That is understanding. Judges would all be considered criminal because they know nothing about the background of prison. If you're brought up in Japan and you're told American gangsta, all American gangsta, in Germany, American Coca Cola and cigarettes, that's the very punish. So if you're brought up in a certain country, you're made to hate during the war. Like I used to sing in school, singing Paris, Hole and Fan and Paul Ross, Japan, how nice the Japanese were. When they attacked Pearl Harbor, I was kind of disappointed. And there was a book called The Secrets of Pearl Harbor, which I bought. And Admiral Halsey opens that book with how we got the Japanese to attack Pearl Harbor. They never knew that. I never knew how corrupt war was. I never knew how corrupt our government was. I'm talking about America, the most, one of the most corrupt countries in the world. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is get up and talk this way. I'm not your enemy. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to tell you that if we use science and technology, this is what I mean by that. To do a survey of the global resources. Once we do a survey of how many concrete hospitals we have, we know how many people we can treat. Or you ask how do you think, what do you think, what do you know, not what you think. So what we would do in the future is do a global survey first of what the carrying capacity of the Earth is. And that's the carrying capacity means how many people can live on Earth. If you say overpopulation, that's not based on the study of the carrying capacity. But if you produce more people than the Earth can carry, you'll have territorial disputes, killing, robbery, taking possessions. If two nations control most of the Earth's resources, you're going to have trouble. It's not the one that the territory of the Jews. So it's the way we operate to produce the conditions. Just as you make jealousy and envy. If my wife fell in love with somebody else and wanted to leave, normal people say, you're not breaking up the home, you little shrine, you know. <laughs> the question is, it means you're not meeting her needs, it doesn't mean you're bad. If the husband sees other women, he may be tit men, leg men, ass men, hair men, 